We always say we're going to pursue our dreams one day. We're going to start that business one day. We're going to travel the world one day. We're going to get in better shape one day. It's time to step into the fire and step out of your comfort zone as the legends before you did. Rising above the ashes of those who paved the way for you to be here today. This is your time. This is your opportunity. Today is your day. This is day one. Day one of the rest of your life. Is it one day or is today your day one? In other words, how do you live? What is your mentality? I had a dream of playing in the NBA, but I had to become an NBA ball player. I dreamed of being a Hall of Fame motivational speaker, but I had to become a Hall of Fame motivational speaker. Your dreams are no good if you're not willing to become. That one day won't happen until you become. And when I talk about become, you must become legit. You can't fake this thing. The one thing that you must understand is that you don't get any do-overs. Once your day ends, that's it. So what action do you need to commit to taking today? When you set a goal, there needs to be a sense of urgency. You got to pursue. You get in that ocean and the shark pursues. You go in the jungle. The lion pursues. So can I ask you a question? Are you a dreamer or are you a chaser? How long have you been thinking about this one day? How long have you been talking about this one day? How long are we going to talk about it? How long are we going to dream about it? How long are we going to fantasize about it? How long? You tell me. It takes grit. It takes sacrifice. It takes time and energy. It takes extreme focus. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. I want to be that voice to you to stop dreaming and start chasing, start pursuing. But most importantly, you got to become. Today is your day. Today is day one. Life is so short. Life only has only a little time. Although it will continue to go on, you cannot hold on and think that every day is promised to you. We have all experienced great losses in our life. We have all felt that pain of losing a loved one, someone that we cared about. But yet we're still here. And now we must go on. But what is the example that we're going to lead? What kind of leadership and what kind of leadership qualities do we have? How do we go on? How do we lead the next generation? Hate is not going to make it work. Being afraid to be truthful to who you are will only limit who you truly are inside. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let anyone take away who you are and how true you are and what you matter in this world to so many other people. Don't be afraid to be honest. Don't be afraid to be truthful. Don't be afraid to be different. Even being different can be difficult to a lot of people. But I guarantee you this. There's nobody in the world that can do you.
when the time comes, what would you leave behind? What legacy will be left behind to remind others of your greatness, of your losses, of your victories, of your sorrows? This is a short life that we all have. And it's not easy. It's not easy living it every day. It's not easy to go through so many different circumstances, so many different challenges. It's not easy getting that pink slip, knowing that this may be your last day on your job. It's not easy knowing that you may lose your home because you got laid off your job. This type of pain and these different circumstances, many people are always going to come back and say, well, that's life. We cannot blame life. It is not life that makes these challenges what they are today. It is a purpose. And purpose never lies. It will always tell you the truth. But while you exist in this world right now, I need you to hold on. I need you to hold on strong and don't give up. I need you to believe in every possibility that you have and understand that it is not over for you. I need you to understand life is always going to be good. But always keep in mind sooner or later we all got to punch that clock. So carry on. And don't give up and don't give in and do the best that you can to have the right attitude to make your existence matter. Stay strong, stay the path, and don't give in. Regret creates the pain and promotes the driving force, pressuring you to say no more. Regret adds physical weight to your shoulders, slows you down. The only way to lighten the load and build momentum is self-honesty and a true clear vision you have for yourself to move toward positive change. For you to change your reality, you need to reconstruct your inner world. Your inner dialogue is key. But this change that only you know is long overdue, only you truly know the length of time you've been lugging this emotional weight around, and only you know the root of the issue. It takes courage and it takes strength that you think right now you may not have. Regret opens doors. It directs you to where you need to head and it uncovers what you need to work on. We're all a work in progress. It's okay to have failed. You can drive yourself out of it. We're all on this path together. You're not alone. When you can emotionally manage the fear of failure, you can face the uncertainty of the future. The future should excite, inspire, and scare you. But that fear shouldn't be a force which turns you away. A clear vision that's true to you enables you to step into those fears as you own them. You see them as necessary obstacles of personal growth. They're a part of your vision. They're a part of who you are, the true you. The regret of the past needs to steer you toward your fears to step into your new reality. This is the only place to be to experience growth. 
In every daily act, big or small, it's paramount you be your future self. You don't wait to become. So no matter where you are, no matter who you're dealing with, they sense a strong human being, one of confidence, certainty and courage. Everyone can see and sense you're on a higher path. Your presence brings others forward with you. They sense your stronger presence, mirror your confident posture and hear the higher language you speak. Have conviction in everything you do. The only way to create growth and a stronger version of yourself is the length of time you hold your vision in your mind with accurate clarity and firm belief of this end in mind vision. What's your biggest regret? Let it fuel you. Is it holding you back? Let it fuel you. The pain of regret is there to drive you forward, not to keep you where you are. The pain of regret isn't there to keep you as the same person as yesterday. It's to drive you forward to that stronger person you're becoming tomorrow. Pain is fuel, don't waste it. Regret fuels growth. The things you're about to hear are the powerful inner thoughts going on inside the mind of a champion. I was born a champion. I was raised a champion. I got champion in my bloodline. I've always been a champion. I will always be a champion. And when I close my eyes and die, I will be a champion. On my headstone, they will write champion. Every time they mention my name, they will say champion. My legacy is champion. My obituary will read champion. Every time they mention my name, they will say champion. Because I am a champion. Every day that I get up, I say good morning champion. When I look in the mirror, I see a champion. When I go to the gym, I work out like a champion. When I eat, I eat like a champion. And the stuff I read makes me an even better champion. The stuff I put in my mind is champion. Cause all day I am a champion. From sunrise to sundown. From the moment I open my eyes to the moment I close them. I am a champion. I pray, I think, I speak, I walk like a champion. No loss, no setback, no mistake will ever change that. I'm a conqueror. Born to succeed, anointed to prosper, blessed and unstoppable, and I will arise out of the ashes because my God will not fail me because I am, always have been, and always will be a champion. Greater is he. Champion when I bleed, my blood is champion. 
And anything that stands in my way, I will go through it, over it, around it, because I am a champion. Nothing can stop me. Blessed and unstoppable. I am the undefeated, undisputed, never beaten champion of the world. The world says I'm a loser. I get up every day and go to war with that statement. They think I'm lazy. I'm hungrier than ever. Beast mode, I'm eating all competition. The devil says I've got no money. Money comes to me easily, frequently, and abundantly in God's perfect way. The world says I'm crazy. The world belongs to the bold. They remind me of the losses I've taken. They say I'll never recover. I serve the God of restoration. I will make a comeback. They say you can't pay your bills with dreams. Success will come off the assembly line of my mind. They say I only have average talent. Hard work and discipline are the great equalizer. Why don't you get a nine to five, a normal job that pays every week? Because I'm the head and not the tail. Above, not below. I was strategically designed for greatness. It looks like your God has forgotten you. My God will never leave me nor forget. Save me. You really believe all that stuff you're saying? Destiny is obligated by universal law to concede to the demands of unwavering faith. And I believe I'm a champion, committed, hungry, dedicated, fearless, bold, never wavering, full of faith, anointed, prosperous, strong, gracious, focused. Discipline, willing to do whatever it takes to be a champion. I will arise one day and make a fool out of all those who doubted me. I will live with no fear. I will boldly attack the things that scare me. They will not stop me or my destiny. No health issues, no job issues, no financial issues, no relationship issues. Nothing shall stand in the way of my divine calling because I am a-
champion! I was born a champion, raised a champion, have always been a champion, will always be a champion. My legacy is champion! And when it's all said and done on my headstone, they will write champion. You want a different life, but you live with bad habits. Everyone wants to eat, but no one wants to hunt. Whatever your goals, you have to remain consistent. But your excuse is you want perfection. Perfection. Perfection is not the goal. Perfection is the enemy of progress. What you want is to be consistent. Consistency builds momentum, and in life, momentum wins. Momentum compounds. With momentum, you feel like you're on top of the world. But this requires you doing something every single day, even when you don't want to, even when it's not perfect. Look, Bruce Lee said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. You need some reference point that is just much, much worse than where you are. And then it puts it in perspective and you take another five steps and another five steps after that, right? Because when you're having that pity party in your head and you can't move forward, there's five million people that have it worse than you. There's 50 million people that have it worse than you. Should we, as societies, give people a floor, some basic things, or, or should we let people rise and fall based on their own uh, desire and energy and, and motivation? I think people should fight for milk. So how do you build momentum? How do you stay consistent? You have to convince yourself that your day will be worse, that you will feel worse if you don't do what you said you would. If your goal is to work out every day, you gotta convince yourself every day your day will be worse if you don't do that workout. Remember, the only bad workout is the one you don't do. If your goal is to make a hundred sales calls a day, then you have to convince yourself your day will be worse without making those calls. The pain of not completing your objective needs to be stronger than the pleasure of accomplishing it. Don't get me wrong, we all have our days. Days when we're not feeling it, days when we don't care. Days when we want to give up. But those days separate you from everybody else. Those days require you to dig deep and live up to your word. Those days demand you to be consistent, to gain momentum, and that's how you win. All right, here's the deal. Everybody wants to be happy, but they have it upside down. Like, you can't be happy if you're always chasing the next thing. The ancient samurai had it right. Every night before bed, they burn all their possessions. They burn everything they know, their family, everything in their mind. When they woke up in the morning and they saw their family and they saw their possession, they saw that everything still existed. They appreciate what they had. They appreciated it. Happiness only occurs when you appreciate what you have. And those that have everything, even though we think it's gonna bring us happiness, those that have nothing appreciate everything. So the trick, the trick is to take yourself to a place of nothing. So you can play ball at the Y or you can play ball in the NBA. You told me you're going to graduate college in four years, and you did it. But you told me you're going to play in the NBA. Well, ask this question, son. 
Do you believe you're good enough to play in the NBA? My bottom lip started to twitch. My whole face started to spasm up. But dad, I never started in college, but, but dad, I got a score on my foot, but, 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 we're in the coronavirus. I don't like Zoom. I don't like going over the computer. I like to meet face to face. Be committed to the goal, not the journey. Be committed to the result. Adversity will increase your value if you let it. Son, do you believe you? enough to play in the NBA and I thought about it. Well, if I didn't get hurt, I thought about it. Yes, Dad, I do. I do think I'm good enough. Confidence is the number one factor in anyone's success. Tom Brady was a six-round pick. They might have said, ah, he's a six-round pick. Ah, he couldn't even really win a job in college. And he's going to leave the game the greatest quarterback ever. Lesson number one, sharks never stop moving forward or they die. He said, son, if you think you're good enough, go get it. Go get it, son. Go get it. I got your back, son. Go get it. Is there any excuse for an adult not to get an A out of life? So when you go to work, is there any excuse for you not to be an A manager? Is there any excuse for your store not to be an A store? Is there any excuse for you to go home and not to be an A husband? Is there any excuse for you not to be an A wife or a mom or a dad? Is there any excuse? Because we're not in middle school anymore. We're not in high school anymore. So on report card day, I came home and I would sit down with my mom and dad and I would make excuses about my seat. Well, mom, you know, I don't like the teacher, mom, and the teacher doesn't like me. That's why she gave me a C. You know, my mom would say, that teacher didn't give you nothing. You earned a C. Nobody can stop you but you. A C student can justify anything. And the worst part about it, they can believe the excuse. So I'm here because when I tell you about breakthrough, I'm not talking about something I read, a college course. I'm talking about I've been through it. So here's the first thing I want y'all to know. This is the year of the breakthrough. This is the year of the what? This is the year of the what? This is the year of the what? Act like you hear me. This is the year of the what? This is the year of the what? Act like it. It's hard when you're in a library and you're studying and you read and you take the test and you get a 55. That's hard. So what I want you to understand about the breakthrough is that 90% is work. But the last 10%, that's fight. But you mean to tell me I'm going to every class and I'm still failing? You mean to tell me I'm reading every paper, I'm still failing? Step one, we 
Wake up, brother, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. That's the hard part. The breakthrough is the hardest part because the breakthrough is not about the X's and O's. The breakthrough is not about the weight room. The breakthrough is not about studying the plays. The breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. The last 10%, the breakthrough is not about being better than them. You're already better than them. You're just not better than them mentally. The breakthrough, I'm going to break these boys. Why? Because where they come from, they couldn't get up at 3 o'clock in the morning if they wanted to. They smarter than me. They come from privilege. They got the language. They got the code. They got the root. They grew up in it. But they will not get up earlier than me. They will not put out more content than me. Beast mode. One, two, three. Beast mode. One, two, three. Beast mode. I beast mode my way to number one.